In the last task, we used intersect between the spotted owl and the willow flycatcher habitat areas to identify explicitly the areas of overlap between those two habitats. In this task, I'll combine both habitat layers using union and dissolve tools. Union creates a new GIS layer that combines all the geometries of both input layers. Dissolve will then merge all those coincident polygons together. This will leave me a layer that identifies all the important habitat. That combined with the overlap areas will give me all the important habitat areas and then the, the most crucial overlap areas. So I will have created two data sets that identify important areas to protect within the Sierra National Forest for these two birds. So first I'll use the union tool to combine the geometries of both these habitat layers. I'll go to the vector menu, to geoprocessing tools, union. The input vector layer is going to be the Sierra spotted owl. The union layer will be the willow flycatcher. I'll click browse and I'll name the output shape file combined habitat. Go ahead and click OK to run it. Click close when it's done. And now I have this new green layer, which is a combination of both the Southwest Willow Flycatcher and the Spotted Owl Habitat. And you'll notice it includes, I can turn off all these other layers, it includes all the polygons. It also maintains the attributes for both. So if I go ahead and use Identify on this, it has columns from the Spotted Owl and it also has columns for the Willow Flycatcher. Since this one polygon I clicked on was originally just Spotted Owl, those have values and the ones that were specific to Willow Flycatcher don't. In the overlap area, you'll see that the attributes for both layers are there. Now I'll dissolve all these polygons into one contiguous polygon layer representing areas of habitat for both species. So I'm going to go back to the vector menu to geoprocessing tools again and choose dissolve. So the input vector layer here is going to be the combined habitat data. And here we have an option to choose a dissolve field. So the Dissolve tool will give you the option of dissolving based on attributes. For example, if we had counties of the United States and there was an attribute column for the state that that county was in, we could dissolve that based on state name and derive state boundaries from that county shapefile using the Dissolve tool. Here we're not going to choose an attribute column. We're going to scroll down and choose Dissolve All, telling it that we want to dissolve all the polygons together regardless of the attributes. I'll choose Browse. I'm going to call this resulting output Combined Habitat Dissolve. Click Save. Click OK to run the tool. Take a few moments to process. And while this is running, you also always have the option to run these tools using only selected features. So if you had a selected set and you ran this tool, you could run it just on the selected set. Here, obviously, we don't have a selection, so we're just running it on the entire data set. Okay, so that finishes. I'll click Close. And let me change my zoom extent back to the previous. So now you can see that we have a polygon layer that represents the combined habitat for both species, and the polygons have been dissolved into single polygons. In the final task, I'll use the Join Attributes by Location operation to determine which ranger district each habitat area is situated in.